outside right now it's about 8 40 in the morning i think why am i up so freaking early because i wanted to get some stuff done um somebody's up early with me screaming out for what knows but yeah i wanted to get some stuff done um going over to Wells Fargo to handle some shit and then um, I might go to Publix just so I can go to Dunkin and get some breakfast and then go to Publix and do some shopping with some groceries um, y'all like my hair I got it cut finally I know I've talked about getting my hair cut in like several of my videos finally got it cut um, I don't really have much going on today, but I thought I'd come and just hang out with you guys. For those of you who enjoy hanging out with me as much as I like hanging out with you. I used to be one of those people who would, um, like, always call somebody no matter where I went. Like, I'd always have somebody on the phone just so I have someone to talk to. But now, I don't do that so much. Not really for any other reason other than the fact that I don't have a lot of people to talk to but now I got you guys so I don't have to worry about sifting through my contacts to try to find someone to call but yeah I'm gonna get on the good foot and uh head over to this bank and I'll see y'all when all the fun stuff is done right all the fun stuff is done at the bank an hour later I decided I'm gonna go treat myself to a nice little breakfast at Kiki's. So I'm actually about to walk in right now. I'm excited. Right, so I have already ordered my food. I'm not playing no games in here because my ass is hungry. So, um, yeah. I was very happy with how things went at my bank visit. So I just decided, let me go enjoy a nice breakfast before I go back home and probably go back to sleep. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Alright, this is my delicious breakfast of eggs benedict. And I got a substitute of my home fries. I used the substitute to get some fruit salad or fruit cup. And I'm drinking apple juice and I got some water to help me digest all these goodies and to take my prenatal. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this now. Bye guys. I'm making my way to the bus stop. I just finished having my food. Didn't expect to rush like this. But this bus, ooh, it's about to. As I was saying, I just finished eating my breakfast. Um, was a little surprised, excuse me, at the service that I got. Uh, I'm not the queen of England. But you know, I feel like a server should just ask you, you know, certain things. Be attentive. My server didn't seem to be too attentive. Y'all see me complaining a lot on these damn vlogs. I'm not, I'm not a big picky person, but when you don't ask me simple things like, is there anything I can do for you? You don't come check up on me at all. I'm, I'm not gonna give you like 10 damn dollars for a tip, so. And I'm a pretty good tipper, considering the fact that I used to be a server myself. I understand what it takes to uh, be in that line of work and have to actually be in the business of serving another human being or human beings. So, yeah, it just was a little... Uh, a little less than ideal service but she got a tip guess I'm just not her 
cup of tea. And I also think it has to do with people assuming things. She may have assumed because I was by myself and because I ordered quickly. I don't know. I just don't think that, you know, it benefits anybody when they assume this cat hair stuff all over my face. I don't think that anybody uh, should be assuming anything about anybody when they go to eat, but the service you get is the tip that you get. The babies. Look at the babies. Hey, babies. Sitting out here. It's not too hot today, y'all lucky, but if it was, y'all have y'all water. So yeah, y'all. About to go check the mail. While it's still not hot out here. Because, sorry, I thought I was gonna trip on something on this there. The sun has not brought its ass back out. And it feels nice as fuck. It's probably gonna be another I'm not doing a damn thing vlog. I think the most exciting thing that I have done today is go to Kiki's and it's only 11, 11 o'clock. I think it's still 11. Maybe it's about to be 12 by now, but that's all right, right? We just hanging out. Might do some more interesting stuff later. I'm supposed to be cooking this special meal. It's a recipe that I saw on Facebook. So we'll see if I do that. Ooh, excuse me. Y'all didn't want to see that, right? So I feel like I want to talk about something. I'm not a gossip blogger, blogger, whatever. But it's a little tragic, and I just thought maybe I would talk about it a little bit, see if I can get some opinions, maybe even some more details on it. But um, Kate Spade, the fashion designer Kate Spade, she passed away uh, yesterday, Tuesday, um, June 5th. So she committed suicide, which is unfortunate. I had seen a few postings about it online, and it broke my heart because a lot of people were saying, like, oh, she's horrible for leaving her daughter behind, and, you know, that's the first thing that people are going to think of is the kids, but we don't know what she's been, she was going through. Oh, I'm checking my mail. So I just think it's something that a lot of people maybe not shouldn't be able to speak on. Of course, we're all entitled to our opinions, so you can't stop anybody. Ooh, flea delivery for the Outback Express, okay. But yeah, I just feel like, you know, I, I kind of wanted to say that same thing for a moment because, you know, I am expecting a, a child and I would never want to leave her on this earth alone with a whole bunch of worries and such and such, but I am, um, yeah, it just kind of made me feel a little sad that people would be like, oh, you know, screw her for leaving her daughter and blase, blase. Sorry, I gotta go through each and every one of these because sometimes we don't, you know, most people get so if they have a resident that never changed their address, they're gonna get everybody mail. But, um, yeah. It's that whole Kate Spade thing. And first of all, it makes you think about life. Um, and I just, you know, you never know, you never truly know what's going on in a person's life because she was a successful woman she um if i'm not mistaken she had two businesses that were successful and it just sucks you know like what made you want to give up your life but that's why i say you never truly know what somebody's going through
There ain't nothing in these. I'm over here trying to start couponing, and I do not see a damn coupon in here. Aside from the steak and shake ones. But yeah. Oh, that's a waste. Ooh. I guess that's all I gotta say about it. Um, I don't wanna say I'm sensitive to suicide, but it has always been a subject that has made me, I don't know, it made me sad, because it's like, what, what would make anybody that upset and that hurt to do that? And it's like, you should never, especially like bullying, sorry about these angles, y'all. I'm over here trying to throw this trash out. But it's like, I, I hate, you know, when people result to that. Like, that girl from 13 Reasons Why. I remember when I first saw that, I thought that was based on a true story. And I'm like, damn. People, they really... Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get my mail in order. But people really made somebody that hurt inside to where they, they did that to themselves to just end all the pain so I feel like that's you know I'm pretty sensitive to it because of that but I don't know it's a sensitive subject I hope I'm not triggering anybody and if you have been triggered just know that was not my intentions and I apologize boy it's crazy I don't know why the hell I feel like I can't walk normal but I feel like I'm <laughs> I don't know, just being pregnant, I feel like I'm lugging around some extra crap. And I'm like, you know, of course I'm lugging around a belly, but it feels like I got like a backpack on. I don't know. It just changes, I guess, your, my physique. Oh, obviously my physique, but I don't know, man. Just excuse the stain on my shirt. That's for my breakfast. But, yeah. I just feel like... I don't know. Should my damn walk change? Because my house is pregnant. Not even that big. But I'm over here waddling and stuff. Like I can feel my, my weight shifting left, right, left, right, left, right. Ooh. I'm so jealous they have a hammock. And I want a hammock. But I live upstairs, so I don't have an open porch, so I can't do that because there ain't no damn room. I wonder if my cats can hear me. But yeah, I wish I could have a hammock. I'm just running my mouth now. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> we just left Publix. Man, me, my baby, and that man. I haven't been vlogging because there hasn't been anything going on aside from me laying in bed, eating a bunch of food, and cutting up every now and again. But yeah, I really wanted to make special food, special meal. Let me speak proper English. I wanted to make a special meal today. So I decided that I would uh, go to Publix with my husband and get some food eat. There's always something going on at the intersection of our street that takes us home. Like, there's two police cars with their lights on for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Somebody get hurt. Somebody getting kicked off. Like, what's going on? Y'all probably can't even see that well because the sun is technically shining in that same direction, but... Some, something must have happened because I, I don't even look like a police car. That look like a, I don't know. That is, I don't know what that is, but I'm nosy. What the hell is that? Maybe they're trying to get somebody off of the bus. Yeah, that might be a Lynx, uh, a Lynx police. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, now we're walking home. Such an interesting vlog, right? I keep coming with the content. Yeah, I'm super nosy. <laughs> Back in a trap. 
ready to cook some up on the stove. Actually, literally, I've got all this stuff here. Um, this is the chicken breast. We got the spinach. Got some half and half chicken broth, Parmesan cheese, minced garlic, mushrooms. Um, nobody cares about olive oil, but yeah, that's stuff that's going inside of this goodness. This man has been no help, no help whatsoever. I need y'all to dog him in the comments, please. Dog him. I just finished making this beautiful looking meal. It's a freaking Facebook recipe. I can't call it a Facebook recipe, but I know I saw it on Facebook. But yeah, it's chicken, mushrooms, spinach, and this beautiful creamy garlic sauce. And I got the fettuccine noodles over there. This stuff, the, the freaking sauce tastes like Olive Garden Alfredo. I'm very proud of myself right now, and I'm ready to grub on it. 